hi guys welcome back to my channel if you need welcome and this video is a lot different than my other videos because i will be doing a what's on my iphone unfortunately this bad boy has already been unboxed so i am just showing you guys a fake unboxing <laughs> but this is the iphone 15 pro in the 256 gigabytes i have always wanted to do a what's on my iphone but because i use my iphone to record my videos i never have the chance to do a what's on my iphone now that i have two phones i can do what's on my iphone so this one is the one that i'm using this is a very cheap case that i got um i did order some burger cases and i will do an unboxing once those cases have arrived because it's from germany and yes yeah, so if you are interested don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay let's get into it so the first thing you guys are seeing is my wallpaper obviously on top of there you have the date and a quote the time and the percentage or the battery percent page of my phone and we have our you know notifications but before i get into what's on my iphone let me put my phone on do not disturb with this iphone there is this new button called the action button normally well for most they use it for camera to, for quick access to the camera but for me it's quick access to the set the settings it's like a setting shortcut so if i press and hold it will just bring me to the settings the first thing you're gonna see is my home screen and i do have one page i am a very minimalistic yet productive person so my my phone will reflect my character and feel free to steal some ideas from my iPhone setup so the first thing we have in the widget section I have the section where you could see all your Apple devices um, and the battery percentage like my phone my AirPods the AirPods case and this is a widget a picture widget that just has like different places on a sign like you have Tokyo Paris and Orlando it is my dream to travel the world so that is just there for motivation the second widget is my it has my picture and as you can see I am from St. Lucia so there you have that and you have my apple playlist okay so yeah this is my apple account if you want to follow me and look at my playlist you could do that i'm actually looking at what's on my iphone for inspiration the second widget we have is a bible widget um that's self-explanatory every day you get a new bible verse or scripture which is very convenient when you're on your way to work and you're commuting you have a bus or whatever you could like just quickly meditate on a bible verse and this is very dear to me my spiritual walk my spiritual life like i said my phone reflects my personality and here we have my subscribers account because i am a youtuber well in my head i think i am but the numbers are not numbering but if you are watching this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe we talk about all things budgeting using the budget by paycheck mom workbook and moving forward lots of stuff like what's on my iphone but for now yes and down here we have which i love this this actually came with the iphone um it kind of tells you the amount of time or hours you spend on each app like it's subcategorized as social 
entertainment and information i like that so you can see i spent literally six hours and five minutes on my phone and it breaks down each app to let me know um where on on what app did i spend all my time so for social i had an hour and 48 minutes entertainment one hour and 27 information 48 minutes and i've been reading a book for that 48 minutes so that's how i know down here we have my the weather app i do not know what okay right and the second widget sorry is my kindle app and it lets you it lets me know <laughs> um what book i am currently reading and this book is what i'm reading it's by abdal i do not know if i'm pronouncing his name correctly forgive me abdal ali and it's called feel good productivity how do how to do more of what matters to you i love this book i'm still reading it i am not halfway there but reading is not something that i like to do but it's something that i need to work on so this is it for the widget section these are all the important widgets that i need like i said this is a minimalistic what's on my iphone as well as a productive one this is all my needs and wants if you want to know how to um customize your iphone or how to get this look just let me know in the comments section down below and i will do a video on how to customize your iPhone. So the first thing you're seeing here is a widget icon. It's a picture which I got on Pinterest. The second is my to my reminders app. I like to call it today to do's things that I have to do today, which is very important. I am one who likes to think that I'm always productive and always planning the night before gives me that sense of it gives me a sense of purpose and once i see i ticked a good or i have done most of my um actions or my to-dos i feel a lot more productive in a sense so that is just to keep me in a productive um mood so on to uh, the apps now all my important apps are in folders the first folder we have is fun for most people that would be games i do not play games life in itself is a game so i have no idea why would i have games on my phone like i'm living a game 24 7. just kidding but no this is what i call my fun apps i have podcasts I do commute to work all the time. I do not have my personal vehicle, so I take the public bus. And I always like to be in my own world. So having entertainment videos and books to read on the bus, even music is very good. This is why I call it fun. So we have podcasts and we have Kindle, like I spoke, up, I spoke about this. This is the book that I'm reading then music you guys saw that earlier audible is like kindle but it's in the form of an audio um experience where you get to buy books instead of reading it yourself you get to listen to the books then there is ted i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with ted talk but this is a ted app like with all the ted talks and um, videos you could go on youtube and get them but i don't like to have data so when i am not connected to wi-fi i prefer to use this app to listen to um how can i say it impactful videos or things i could learn from in a sense that's the type of that's the type of person i am like i said my phone is a very productive phone then we have netflix if i do want to catch up on some shows right now i'm not signed in but you guys know what netflix is i do not have to explain that now i am from the caribbean most of those um stream watching apps are not available or it's restricted restricted um in the app store because of my location so what i have is what i have access to so this is it for my fun 
folder then we have hobbies this is the name i call it now hobbies for me is things that i enjoy doing on my phone like watching youtube video and also creating a um, youtube video i am a youtube i am a content creator i was going to say i am a youtube creator oh my god and then pinterest pinterest is a hobby i mean whoever doesn't like pinterest has some serious issues so you could follow me as well it's lorraine nine joseph 1996 and my board is very inspiring so we have modest outfits i always like to update my wardrobe every time i get older so i'm currently 28 years old i turned 28 this year so this is what my wardrobe i want my wardrobe to look like in a sense so i have some inspiration on outfits that i need to buy and stuff then we have um house designs if you know if you watch my um budgeting videos i did speak about building a family home so we have so many inspirations of the interior designs which will come in handy very soon we have phone wallpaper we have a hygienic nails work entire fragrance lab as you can see i have my ysl perfume right here i just love pinterest pinterest is a hobby it's a lifestyle it's heaven on earth and we have of course my youtube studio this is where i look at my analytics for youtube if you are a youtube i keep seeing youtube creator if you are a content creator you would obviously have this for me youtube right now is in the form of a hobby and not a means to make income not yet anyway it's just too much going on in my life so right now youtube and creating videos watching youtube and creating youtube videos is a hobby then we have the camera i love taking pictures the photo app CapCut is what I use to is what I use to um, edit my videos for YouTube, Canva as well. Then we have Feeder, whatever that is, that I use to um, figure out my Instagram feed. And then we have this retro cam or a thing which is called Huji. I do not know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So basically. It gives that um, 90s vibe type of look this is like a plant I have in my office at work so this is what that is and then we have Lightroom which is which is a um, editing app for photos and videos as well I think <laughs> so the next folder we have is socials and this is all my social um, apps that I use. I used to have Facebook and Twitter. These things I do not use, so I deleted them. I cleansed my phone in 2024. So these are my most used socials. We have Apple. Apple, if you're seeing this, um, email me. Give me an iPhone or an iPad or something. <laughs> so we have Gmail. We have WhatsApp, which is what I use to communicate with my family and friends because I am from the Caribbean. This is what we use a lot. Then we have Instagram. If you are new to my channel, you can follow me at Lauren, but Lauren Budget Girl or at the Budget Girl. And this is my YouTube channel. Oh my God, YouTube. This is my Instagram. I have not been posting. I have not being active on instagram just haven't found the time to do so then we have snapchat and tiktok these are my most used socials like i said there is facebook and all of that jazz twitter ready whatever i don't have these things because i don't use them personally so if you want a minimalistic look all you have to do is just keep the apps that you use and that is most um, effective for you in terms of having a productive life so the next folder we have is shops and this um, folder is spending there are a lot of how can I say it? Um, there are a lot of apps when it comes to 
shopping that i need to download but i just haven't gotten the time but for now we have my digital which is my carrier um app where i used to put data plan whatever you call it and then we have etsy which is which is self-explanatory we have the app store we have apple store we have massive stores where i buy groceries then we have macy's sheen amazon fashion nova zara forever 21 anf i love anf jeans i need to get my hands on one and asus i'm not sure if i pronounced that correctly this is a work in progress folder this is not all the places that i shop i also shop on Alta, Suthara, Fenty. So, and I cannot, I, for some reason, I cannot download these apps on the App Store. It, it keeps telling me, um, not available in your current location. I do not know why. So, the next folder that we have is Soul, and we have the Bible app, well, two, the offline version and the Wi-Fi version, I would say. Then we have Juno, which is a new app that Apple introduced to the new iOS 17. Then we have uh, Virgo, um, you know, to track your period, your menstrual cycle, that sort of thing. Simple. Um, budget is my next folder. Of course, we need a separate folder for budget because this is what my life is about, budgeting. We have all my bank apps we have cibc bank of st lucia paypal obviously the calculator and spend list now spend list is what i am currently using to track my expenses before up uploading it to my budget by paycheck mom workbook it's ready it's on the go all i have to do once i get my receipt is enter it so as you can see variable expenses for the month of february and you could see how much money i have been spending this is not updated because i have not been entering <laughs> all my um, expenses but that kind of gives you an idea as to how much you spend throughout the month based on how you enter it of course in the app so as you can see i spent a lot more money in miscellaneous than in food and transportation which is consider considerably accurate then also i also track income income that i get coming in that sort of thing so this is the app that i use on a day-to-day -day basis so i stayed away from buying um budgeting items and just downloaded but an, an app where i could just write in because i'm always on my phone write in my expenses for the day and at the ending of the week i will use my budget by paycheck mom workbook to offload all of those things i have here and the name of this app is called spendless if you're in the states america you could also um connect your banking information to this app but a lot of these things are restricted restricted for me because of my location so i have to enter it manually and that's really not a problem but i love this app then we have my school um folder so we have pages this is an an app by apple it's like microsoft Word. so for me if i am on the bus and i am thinking about writing an essay i would just jot, jot down or type up what i'm thinking good notes we have chrome this is my bookshelf for my school we have all my textbooks in there and then we have chat gd chat gpt which i am new to i have not used this app i just downloaded it so i cannot really speak on the effectiveness of it but this is basically what my phone entails the last but not least app it's not a folder it's called a list again it's like a generic list for the year 2024 so i have i have 2024 buys so everything that i want to buy um we have fenty perfume ysl a lot of them are ticked because i have them like the iphone 15 pro and yeah i have also 2024 to do's things that i want to accomplish which is a very good app like you just want to bring dump all your aspiration and goals in an app that's really 
very simple and not too complicated this is the app for you the list and down here we have another widget um icon oops it's just a picture of beautiful homes it was kind of flowing with my aesthetic my background picture which is what i like and at the bottom here we have search and we have in the task bar facetime call and imessage this is how simple my phone is and looks i love it it's amazing also this is a feature everybody should have um the focus icons like you have time with jesus fitness today so whenever you about to do something you could just whenever you're about to exercise whatever you could just hit those focus icons and it prevents anybody from disturbing you or any app notification from disturbing your um your exercise or whatever if you're studying or reading i love this 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 is just lovely so this is what is on my iphone 15 pro um if you guys want to see what the phone actually looks like oops i can do that so this is the titanium color i do have a protective thing on the on the um camera so it's not that bulky it has something on there in low light it's it's giving warm color in like light it's giving bay metal i don't know if that if you guys get it um i love this phone i am happy with it i cannot wait to get my burger cases to show you guys the to show you guys the unboxing of the burger cases but this is my what's on my iphone see you guys in my next video bye